Richie Kotzen with Player. This is a CVT lesson for Sarah. Woo, let me tell you. Standard tuning. You wanted it done with a pick. There are some parts that are actually easier because Richie's using his fingers through this. Um, but I wrote it. I'll explain when I, when I get there. You can eliminate um, having to use the fingers with it, okay? So to start with, we've got... Um, Okay, that's the easiest part of the song at five seconds in. Open E to A twice. Now here's where he uses his fingers. Now we're, you wanted it with a pick, so we're, um, you can still do it with pick and fingers. It's just easier. And then, you know. So. We can eliminate all the high high strings that are played with the fingers. Okay, if you do that, it's way simpler. You're just going open two four on the E rest, and then two four on the E to two A. So you'd have, and then two A hammer to four, right into two D twice vibrato, and then four A. So the bass melody Okay, if you choose to use the fingers, we can you know and then he doubles the E and B on this next part. And then he hits them with this and the 2D. So So, pick and choose, you got both options there. All right, um, section two comes in. This is the verse. We're right back to the E5 power chord. Open two E A. His gain's pretty low. I would turn your gain up, um, you know, to whatever, you know, seven, and then back the volume. It'll cut some of the saturation down because in the solo you're gonna want the gain boost, um, but in the verses and all this stuff, it's it's pretty uh, pretty mild on the grit. Here's section two at ten seconds. Oops, yeah. Seven, 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 D, G, B. You're gonna do it twice, so. Three, four, two, three. Sliding the sevens to right around fret three or four and then transition to an A major. You wanna bar this, and you'll see why in a second. Open A, and then bar second fret D, G, and B, strum all the strings except the outer strings, the E's. Um, you'll go. So what's happening is we strum the A, keep the bar, go 4D and 3B with your third and second finger. You've played these chords. I know you, you have a broad span of music you like, and this is used a lot with like 70s rock. Um, you'll go same four strings but maybe check them and you'll go from th strumming that right back to the A, which is why you want to bar it rather than try to do all the finger jumping. Quick rest, open A and then repeat, but go D, G and B, four, two, three, into the A chord. There's, he's eliminating the A string off of it. So we have. And then open A, and then 2A hammer to 4 straight into 2D. That leads you right back to the start of the verse, which is open 2, and this time you can hear a 2D as well. Still in E5, it just has the octave in it. So, um, now on this part, he'll go. Keep it ringing, play the 2D, add the 4G, and strum that with open B and E. So you're gonna, oops, is that right? Yeah, so you're strumming, it's just an E major, he's playing it different than you're probably what you're used to, but you gotta curl the index out. Okay, um, and I think he does that periodically. Let's strum the top three again into a D major chord. Okay, 
So you'll see some repeats. You're going to transition into the D major, which is 2, 3, 2, open. Strum those. Like I said, he's using his thumb through this. Rest, hit it again into an open A. Into the A chord. From there, familiar territory. Even this. Alright, then, back to the open 2-2. Two, two. And we're going to drop the 4G in there as well. Top three strings. And then D. And strum the underneath three. Oops. From there, um, we're back to the top three strings into a D major, just like before. Okay, but this time when you get to the A, so we'll do the D twice. Open A. That's gonna ring out, and you end with this open two two four open open twice. So that's it for that section, which is the verse. Now the second time around the verse, there's some changes, which I'll show you when we get there. Section three, seven A, nine D, and nine G. Actually, this is a part where we'll have some variations. From that to 777 DGB, you're already there, so. It's got some double stops. Okay, yeah, we're good. You're gonna hit the D and G, hammer to the nine. Make sure when you hammer the nine, you don't accidentally mute out the seven off the G. So you got right back to 7-7. Seven, seven. So we have and then 7-7 seven, seven, A, D. So from the 7 A, D, rest, hit it again, slide it to 5, and go to 7 E, back to 5, 5 A, D. So and then we got to turn the page over. It's five pages. Back to the 5-5 five, five AD, to the 7 E, to the 5-5 five, five AD. Okay? So. 7-7 seven, seven twice on the AD with an open E string. So it's. Right back to 7-9 AD, 5-7-7 seven, seven ADG. 7 on the A and D index, just bar it, and then this part again. Okay? So those, you'll see a lot of familiarities. It's a solo that's going to go, wow, you know, but... Or, and you'll do the sevens twice. Okay, section four, 51 seconds. This comes in. Seven, nine, A, D. And play the part. And then. So, let's start that over. Seven, nine. Hit it again and slide to 12, then strum it. Um, hit the 10, 12 again, slide to five, seven get there it's three hits rest three hits rest and then this chord I love this chord 7a 7d and 6g you're gonna strum everything except the low E and that's it for that section that'll trail off slide all right section five this is at a minute in and this is a variation of another part I don't know if it's the verse but open two two one so it's our E major and then open B and E. Fret hand mute up to 577 ADG, which is sound like this. Slide it, or hit it and slide it to an A chord. And the rest you'll know. So let me play this section. That goes two times. Here's the second time.
Okay, so to finish the section, open 2-2, two, two, bar at this time, add the third finger on the 4G, curl it out. We did this chord earlier. Top three strings, D and then everything underneath. D twice, and then A major, let it ring. That takes us into uh, section six, <clears throat> which is E major, just your standard form, open two, two, one. Hit it twice, rest. Now we're back to something familiar. But this is a little different. And then we gotta turn the page. Uh, but the, the way he's doing it is open, open on both E strings. Second fret E, open E. Four E, open E. That's so what we have. And then there's a fret hand mute. You can take these out. I'd rather you take them out than have you struggle with it. Upstroke on the last three strings into two E. And then hammer to the four. So it's to the two A. So it's when you go to the 2D, which is our next note, he actually hits the open B with it, vibratos, and then 4A with an open B. So it's, if it's too crazy, we're just going to go, which would give you all your bass melody. Okay, and uh, fret hand mute up, 2D, open B, vibrato. Once again, we can eliminate the open B, so. And then we have 4-2-A, two low E, he's hitting the open B with it, he's plucking it with his finger, half step bend release. And then section seven comes in at the open, so. So. 7D, G, first finger, we're going to do some more double stops. Yeah. You'll hit it, rest, hit it again, hammer to 9D, and right back to the 7D, G. So that's the same as something we did earlier. So you have... 777 A D G and on this one he goes hammer to 9A and then pulls off back to the 7 but you're still hearing the underneath strings and you're right where you need to be for the next part and you know this 7 slide to 5 7 E 5 5 A D so that's a repeat 5-5-A-D, five, 7-7-A-D, five, seven, seven, and then open E to 7-9-A-D. So you would go... Oops. Then you hit repeat, section four, section five, and we're getting ready for the solo, so you're gonna to wanna to boost the gain. It's an E major, this time it's a little fuller. You can hear the open B in it. Open, two, two, one, open. Two times. And then at 218, we got the solo. Like I said, boost it. I think he's going to his neck pickup or somewhere in between. And start on seventh fret approximately, slide to around approximately 17A, and then back, so it's... Um, and then the fun really gets going. Let's see, 12, exaggerated whole step bend to 14D, vibrato, 
12 G, bend it a half step, but do it two, uh, one time. And then 13 G, do a half step two times. So it's. And then um, 13 G, step in a. Um, no, do three times of the half step. So it's. And then your fourth time is a step and a half. You're bending this to, to that. That's timestamp 218. Um, the next one comes in at 224. And. turn the page but I gotta flip the page for the rest but let's break that down 15 B bend whole step up on 12 E down on 15 B pull off to 12 great subgroup right there 15 G to 12 B and that's down up so you can build it, you know, note by note and have these cool little subgroups. 15, 14, 12 on the G, that's going to be pick, pull, pull. And down on 14 D. You know, he's... He's doing thumb and index in there, so... After that, 14 pull off to 12 on the G. So. 